If you have never seen sponsored content from me before, I am paid to check out a game and show it off to you. There's no menu music, or else it stopped playing already or something. Um, I'm allowed to say negative things about it if I have negative things to say. The like pledge that I'm making to the person paying me is that I'm going to spend a couple of hours checking out the cool things about the game. So I'm definitely going to like focus on them. And this game looked like it was very cute and cool, so I don't think that will be particularly hard. This is the Rook. Defender at all costs. If it is destroyed, the game is over. Units have not been moved yet. Are you sure you wish to end your turn? Wait. Return. Did I just shoot it? Is that a ranged attack? Ow. A wave of enemies is incoming, Magister. What this tutorial has not taught me yet is... Okay. I can work this out on my own pretty easily, though. This is a unit with a ranged attack, which deals four damage. It has two defense, which is flat reduction on incoming attacks, and 40 health. Pretty sure. I have a sorceress who has a ranged attack for 10. I have a warrior who has a melee attack for 10. Ooh. A bit of screen shake there. Can I turn that off? Because otherwise I will start to feel dizzy and sick. No? Yes. Okay, and this has... Oh, it does have enough range to attack you. Unfortunate. I wonder what the range is on ranged attacks. My Rook has defensive field as well, so when it gets attacked, it deals AoE thorns damage, it looks like. This is from an indie studio. Battle recovery. The warrior heals for two each time to destroy an enemy. So we are upgrading our deck-ish. End of turn, the sorcerer just gains plus four temporary armor if standing next to a blocked tile. A blocked tile? Rogue gains one temporary armor every square they move. Oui. The rogue seems like it could use survivability since it is a melee unit with only 20 health. Enemies will spawn here next turn. This, oh, I just realized that this is a tower defense game. Oh, well, that's bad. <laughs> that's... <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm upset. <laughs> Nana, thanks for the 11 months. Long boom, we'll show to you too. This is an armor goblin. Let's get away from this side. Interesting that that didn't shoot. Oh, I think... I'm not quite sitting in front of it. I think the 2 to 3 is... 
Wait, what does that mean? Why would range be 2 to 3? Oh, it can't attack in melee. Okay, I get it. What is your range? Your range is also 2 to 3. If the sorceress doesn't move, it gains 4 temporary armor. If it does move... Oh, if I shoot, I can't move after. Okay. My shields are pretty strong right now. What's this? Experience. Gold. If the warrior takes health damage, they gain plus six temporary armor next turn. The rogue has plus five power against enemies that are missing health. Sorceress also attacks one other target in range whenever they attack. Yeah. Seems sweet. These would be blocked tiles, I guess. We have found an orc. Just straight up second attack. That's pretty strong. So ranged attacks can go diagonally. Cool. But melee attacks cannot. Attack a target within range at the start of your turn. Long range, low damage amount per battle, one. Attack a target within range at start of your turn, long range, low damage. Do I target it or...? How do I use it? Oh. Oh! Oh, I see. So I've turned an obstacle into a cannon target. Which tower targeting priority? Towers can be placed on block tiles during your turn. They will automatically attack at the start of your turn, and if destroyed, will be unavailable for the rest of the battle. Cool. Remove. No. Oh. Twenty six lands. Hunker down, sneak attack, soul twist. Killing an enemy makes them explode, nearly five damage to adjacent enemies. Seems sweet. What's all this? Enemies generally prioritize the closest target. Keep in mind some may exhibit different behaviors. Attack a target within range at the start of your turn, medium range, medium damage. Attacks all enemies in range at the start of your turn, short range, high damage. This is very um very tower defense. As this barricade prevents enemies passing through at the end of your turn, taunts enemies in a two tile radius. Freeze trap. When an enemy sets on a trap while armed, they take three damage and are stunned. So I only get. Oh, I see. I can place an emerald tower too. Elites and bosses are not stunned. See, Slayer thinks the eight months. Uh, I got to the credits of Inscription. Don't have much desire to play it more than that.
So to proc second fire, I need to not do it the way I just did it. Good to know. This auto targets, huh? Combat log? Hey, melon nose. <laughs> That's cute. So far, I haven't seen any friendly fire type stuff. If the wire takes health damage, we've seen that so many times. But I thought I took Soul Twist last time. In four temporary armor and four temporary power when an adjacent enemy is destroyed. Temporary lasts until end of round. Nope. I'm going Soul Twist again. Now I have Soul Twist twice. Victory! We've earned a bunch of gold and experience. Apparently I defeated a wolf. I guess my tower did that while I wasn't even looking. When enemies are defeated by your heroes, they gain experience points. These points can be spent on improvements to your heroes. At the end of your turn, adjacent heroes get two temp hour, armor, two power. Another move, temp armor when killing an enemy, two armor. Whenever you damage an enemy, gain one XP. Oh. Oh. OP. Is that all I... Is it shared? Oh, the experience is shared. Okay. But presumably this is only for the sorceress. Upgrade your defenses. Gold is gained as you defeat enemies. These points can be spent on improvements to your towers, contraptions, and rook. This is my rook. Your base, if it is destroyed, the run is over. Enemies that attack the rook are instantly destroyed. <laughs> that seems strong. Tower has range, removes armor before damage. Rooted for a turn. When it has thorns, you get a barricade when it dies. When we destroy the barricade, they suffer a ton of damage. That seems good. Because he's taunt, right? Let's upgrade these ones. Next battle. Is there a command for a brief description of this game yet? I am still finding out what it is. It's a tower defense game in the most literal sense of the word though. Interesting that like they're obviously going for the chess aesthetic, right? They have a grid and a rook, but it's a nine by nine board. Instead of an 8x8. Eight eight. Maybe this is Chess 2. I've been hearing a lot about Chess 2 recently. Oh, I meant to... Uh, I have deal 3 damage to an enemy, and I have 4 charges. I can use it twice. In the same turn, apparently. Has the queen finally been nerfed? Gosh, I hope so. Giving it five temporary power and five temporary armor. Sure, you can have that. How do I make you attack both like that? I have gotten an upgrade. When a mid-tier spell is cast, the sorceress gains four move until end of turn. I 
I'm a sorceress main, apparently. Can you use zap and chest too? I think so. I hope so. So my hotkey for this is space. This seems like an important hotkey to get used to using. Apparently rook means chariot. Let's see. Interesting that the enemies, as far as I can tell, they show up on the edge of the board and don't move immediately. Oh, boss! Oh, shit. It's boss time. There's a wolf? Did my units full heal at the end of the last fight? Why did I just kill that? Defeating a boss causes all its minions to retreat and guarantees you epic upgrades before you move to the next area. So I have to be careful not to kill that because I won't be able to farm experiences effectively if I do. That's my takeaway. What is this one? Deal 10 damage to all enemies. What? What? The Persian word Rook meaning chariot. gonna tank that pretty nicely I think and I want to take the damage so that my sorceress can farm more XP 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 uh... I watched Dune last night bifurcation symbol on the custom card we had to make did. I think you mean just like that it attacked two tiles? I'm not sure. Anyway, at the end of every area we defeated the boss. We have finished the tutorial? We've defeated the tutorial. tutorial. Awesome. The right place? Hey, it's me. I'm the queen. Are you certain? Wait, they have voice acting. I don't have to say anything. Worry not, your grace. Oh. The rook follows my commands. To That's nice. Matter. You should be quite aware of that by now. Of course. I did not mean to doubt your capabilities. They are nothing short of legendary. The queen looks very smarmy. And that's not a word that I use often. Smarmy. I'm not even sure what that word means. I'm just pretty sure that that's how the queen looks. Then I trust you will have no issues with paying a suitable price for my services. A single barrel of gems should be enough. Yes, like she's looking down on us. That's exactly what I was trying to express, I think. And these are pieces. Looks like they are. I 
thought that such mundane commerce was beneath you. Thanks, Kamimism. my head into the mud and begged for your help. Is that not enough to show my appreciation? <laughs> that payment is not for my benefit, but yours. So that you understand the value of my gesture. I appreciated your humility, but that alone is not enough. You like it when powerful women look down on you? Saving the kingdom will always It's good to know what you like. Sacrifices. Be happy that yours is paid in gold rather than blood. You were right. Clever of them to sneak through the northern plains while your forces are occupied in the mountains. Too clever. I wonder if those pieces are enough. Oh, they have meta progression, don't worry. Your grace. Their names might have faded from history, but their power is very much alive within my tokens. You should leave now. Let me send you back. Wait. I prefer to work alone. Where'd the queen go? Ascension zero. There are ten ascensions. At least so far. Spell loadout. You may unlock more spells. Choices. Our spell upgrades. We have Stone Shield, Healing Ally, and Stone Plate. We no longer have deal every enemy 10 damage. That seems... Yeah, okay. That seems fair. The queen can instantly move infinitely in any direction. That is an excellent point. Unit loadout. We have the Warrior, Rogue, Sorceress. What does that do? Oh... Black Witch, Possessed Soul, Banshee, and different upgrade types, cool. Warrior, Samurai, Barbarian, Elven, com ooh, there are elves in this world. Corsair, maybe pilots, pirates, pirates. Corsair's range attacks knock enemies back one square. Okay, cool. So there's a good amount of content that you unlock as you play. This is what we have learned. Simple enough. But for right now, it doesn't... Oh, different rooks. Sanctuary. First spell you play, each battle can be played for free. Okay, anyway, I think this is our unit loadout for the first run, pretty sure. We have five different... I don't know if these are acts or... Like... I don't know if playing in the mountains constitutes one entire run or if that's like act one of a five act run. Find out. Azaz, the demon lord, grows in power the longer he remains in battle. Underlings are disorganized and inexperienced. Has recruited a horde of orcs, goblins and their wolves to launch an assault against the goblin kingdom. Vanquish the hordes that you may uphold your bargain with the queen. All right. Hey, holy no more. Ascensions are a great idea, and there's no point in renaming them. I agree. You could call them difficulty levels. I don't know. I recognize that floating castle, Magister. To what do I owe this reunion? Squashing your pitiful invasion sounded like a respectable use of my powers, as as. Tell me. What are you after now? Gems, my feeble conjurer. The kingdom is ripe with gemstones and I will claim their power. Typical. I will not allow that, of course. Letting you pass would sully my reputation. Humph. <laughs> you should know by now. I am on an ending. As as speaks very strangely. <laughs> you will learn to fear me, Magister. I will force your eyes open. Whatever as has promised you, he is lying. Let me... 
just confirm. Yeah, I don't have all of my perks anymore. Which makes perfect sense. Whoop. When adjacent enemy is destroyed, five temporary power, minus one move, eight armor. When a low tier spell is cast, gains two temp armor and two temp power. We'll go heavy cloak. So I can be tanky. I think getting the rogue tanky as a first thing to do seems like an important thing for the functionality of the team. This is wave one out of five. You're coming from that direction. Let's put an arcane tower there, maybe. Can't quite move far enough, but it's okay, because it only has three attack anyway. I wonder... It seems like the waves spawn after I kill the previous one, but I guess I'm not certain that that's the case. Sponsored mean I wouldn't be playing this otherwise. I can't tell you what the world would be like if it was something different. It means that I have been sponsored to play this. Plus one move, minus six power, but get plus two temp power for every square you move. That seems sort of sweet. So it's plus two power as long as I move my full four squares every turn. Oh, it doesn't really combo with the cape I took, does it? Except insofar as it gives me my movement back. I'm just gonna take um, spell shield, I think. Middle stat of units is their range. I don't know if I can move back and forth. It seems like I only get, yeah, I only get to move once. I guess the answer is no. Oh yeah, this time there are a billion things. Let's put an emerald tower there. Oh, I can't do that for some reason. These are all going to die to the Emerald Tower, though. What is that? Wait, towers are OP. What are you? Interdimensional Thief. You have z one move, zero attack. Are you going to steal my gold and then leave? Is <laughs> that was I think that's what's about to happen. Seems sort of likely, unfortunately. I don't have range. I can't put that underneath you. Who hasn't been moved yet? You? Shoot that. Oh, it's still here. I 
I just got 25 gold. That's so much gold. So yeah, I guess that's a loot goblin. I wonder if it has some negative effect if I don't get it though. Oh, there's still a thing here. <laughs> didn't even notice. Teamwork. Gain four power when next to another allied unit. If the rogue didn't attack this turn, gain two temporary range with this heart next turn. If the sorceress destroys an enemy, they gain four power and one range next round. Yeah. Okay. This time we have a smaller wave that is coming from the other direction, which means my short range tower is not going to work. At all. Also, my units aren't really set up for it. Those have so much health. They don't attack for that much, though. And they can't attack diagonally. I actually have so much health, though. We see it's movement. That has four. This has three. One, two, three. So these orcs aren't actually dangerous this turn. They can't reach any of my units. Well, they can, but they don't have to. I guess this is the moment where we find out what happens if I don't aggressively kill things, whether another wave spawns or not. Oh, you walked forward to make that attack? <laughs> really? Ah, uh, That's not a hero? Okay. I was not expecting that. Salty garbage next for two months. See if a wave shows up on the edge of the board right now. Wait, I can just like walk my rook into them and they all just die. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> this seems sort of strong. The warrior gains plus two temporary power for every square they move. If the rogue does, does not move on a turn, gain eight power plus two move on the next turn. Enemies destroyed by the sorceress are resummoned as shadows with power equal to the destroyed unit. The shadow immediately attacks the closest enemy, then is destroyed. I like how you can see who has and hasn't acted. Yeah, the interface is pretty smooth. Uh, I wish that it was easier to confirm a move. Because I can almost play this game with only a hand on the mouse. I'm very close to being able to do that. I'm going to have to spread out for this one. has 11 armor. Only attacks for one, though. So at the end of my turn, I get two temporary armor for each tower on board. So these are both just dead to my rook. Neat. Yeah. 
Sword Switch takes a little bit of damage, but not very much. Actually, I'll just give you some temporary armor. It's balanced very generously so far. I just noticed this is gaining armor every turn. Can I see somewhere that it explains that? Well, don't see it anywhere. Underground tunnels. If the warrior is standing next to the Emerald Tower at the start of the turn, they gain Agile until the end of turn. Can move through all units in blocked tiles. Sorceress gains four temporary armor if standing next to a blocked tile. When a trap is triggered, ten temporary power. That's a lot of power. Okay, so there are definitely five battles like this. And I guess I'm keeping the perks that I take for all of those battles. Oh, is this the boss? We'll find out shortly. That is the boss. Next for ten. Which is not that much. I would like a trap to proc. These minions are not particularly scary, huh? You get less gold and experience for Rook Kells. I am not sure. Gains power equal to charges. Charges four. I mean to stuns, traps. Okay. Two power at this start of each turn. End of each turn. Almost there. Let's put more. Spawn a healing shroom on the edge of the board can only be used when enemies are present. Leave after three turns, restore five health to all heroes and rook when destroyed. Ooh. GG. Why can the rook move diagonally? It just moves in a straight line and then in a straight line a different direction. Don't overthink it. Plus two move, plus one range and agile. So these are my rare upgrades. Rogue can move through enemy units dealing the rogue power as damage to them. The first time another allied hero would take health damage, move the warrior as close as possible and prevent it instead. Does the warrior take the damage, or...? That's so weird. With only three move, free step doesn't seem that good. Doesn't it? It seems pretty good still, actually.
These three, why do they feel so familiar? You may have encountered them when they were still alive. Another place in time, which reminds me, you don't belong here, do you? Is as good by a dollar demon. Howard, you should have at least killed me with your own hands. I have earned a bunch of gold and experience. Why does it give you golden experience when you kill something and then at the end it gives you golden experience for them again? Wondering if there's like a reason for that that I don't understand yet. Goblin archers are elusive. They attack at the furthest distance possible. Leave after three turns and gives 25 gold when destroyed. Gotcha. Ooh, the red orc is AOE. It seemed like it was giving me extra, but maybe I'm wrong. The Icelands, Rather, known for evasive tactics while boasting heavy ranged artillery from his ship. The A ship? Never strays too far from his ship. The queen desires an end to the conflict between the goblin army and the invading northern tribes. Their leader and inspiration, Rather, is the key. Put an end to this war, Magister. We can level up though. Wasn't this the other way around last time? Is that because these are randomized each time, or is it... I wonder. Sorceress's attacks hit all enemies in range. Plus one move seems pretty good. First loot upgrade each battle is guaranteed to be a rare. Loot upgrade? Wait. There are loot upgrades? Need to run to the bathroom and we'll be RB. All right, so we took basically the get stronger over time upgrades. Oh, I get to go to the shop as well. I forgot about this. Are these going to be the same? The rook gets armor. The arcane tower gets thorns. The cannon tower will never be destroyed, don't worry about that. The emerald tower when it's destroyed, I get an additional barricade. Eh. If an enemy destroys the barricade, they suffer 10 damage. I'm pretty sure this is the one that I decided I wanted last time too. Free strap upgrades for more damage, which is sort of interesting. Okay, what else? Tiny banner is very cute. Maybe I'll just fully upgrade barricades. Wait. But if I fully upgrade them, I don't want them to die anymore. And currently I want them to die. That doesn't really make sense. What's the AoE one? This one? If it destroys an enemy, it fires a gun with plus two damage. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. It has two armor and 18 health. Just upgrade the rook. Your rook gains an aura that gives allies in a four tile radius plus one temporary move at the end of your turn. Yeah, that seems sweet. All right. 
Let's put that 30 months, it's otter. Pants look comfy, they're very comfy. Very comfy pants. Cost for upgrading towers seems static. Yes, so far. Magister, there's another threat. I'm sorry. It's the queen. I have to hold on. Magister, there's another threat. The northern tribes have marched into our lands, no doubt to take advantage of our casualties. That is most peculiar. The tribes have kept themselves for almost 100 years. Why attack now? Perhaps they too see an opportunity to acquire our gems. I am sorry to ask this, but it appears I will require your services a while longer. I have to, like, speak through my nose. We have to kill dwarves. Interesting. Get to kill dwarves? Are your things? Whoa! Whoa! I did not realize we had this. That's good to know about. Whenever I do that, I gain experience, which is pretty cool. Whenever my sorceress deals damage, I gain, ex gain experience, more specifically. Do I want that? Not really. No. Eh? Probably wait. Yeah, that definitely completely stopped the attack from dealing damage. Alright, that seems real strong. Underground tunnels. So this is guaranteed to be range or uh, rare because of the rogue perk. I think giving my rogue range seems pretty sweet. Presumably that brings my range to one to two rather than only two. Oh, it's only two. Is that better? That's a little bit more questionable. You had all of that, ah, that, ah, ah. that. The sorceress's conversation has not lasted very long. I don't imagine I have to put a tower down right now. I suppose the best thing to do is get the sorceress to attack as many times as I possibly can. What? Okay, maybe I needed to put a tower down. Vengeance spirits. Dies upon attacking. Okay, so that one will die on its own. An elven sniper. Prioritizes moving to an empty blocked tile once there it will gain increased range but loses all movement. So it's going to turn into a tower basically. A dwarf warrior is just stats. An elven sniper similarly moves to a tower. Gosh, the numbers got very high very quickly here. Like, compared to last round. 
seems a little dangerous. Okay, so putting that there should be fine. I want to kill that. That seems difficult to do that. Oh, like this? Okay. Hmm, but this isn't what the sorceress. The sorceress wants to get a killing blow. That's genuinely hard to do. Where does this move? Oh my god. Wait, I could have done it. No! Oh. Think I'm good? So what's gonna happen? This is gonna go here. It's gonna shoot you, probably. Or you. This is gonna come and hit you. This is gonna go here and shoot you. My warrior is gonna take a billion damage. Let's go... Use some armor and put a healing shroom here. Went for the rook, actually. Okay. I have unlocked an achievement, Sniper. Not entirely sure what that means. Ow. So probably I meant to have the units that aren't my warrior getting attacked, given that my warrior has a thing. where he completely blocks incoming damage to my other units. But, hey, we're doing it this way instead. I'm sure we'll be fine. And I want the sorceress to get the kill for more experience. Is the warrior's thing per round or per battle. I thought it was per round. When a mid-tier spell is cast, the sorcerer gains plus four move until end of turn. If rogue moves through a hero or contraption, they get plus four temp armor. The rogue is very much about moving around, isn't it? Three temporary armor when an adjacent enemy is destroyed. I think I like the ability for my mid-tier spells to make my sorceress have zoomies. All right, let's read this thing. The first time another allied hero would take health damage. It doesn't say when. It doesn't say per round or per battle. This says first time. Yeah, I'm not sure what to make of that, actually. Well, we'll find out together, I'm sure. Per game installation, yeah. This is a very small wave. I only see three enemies. Seems sort of concerning. Oh! Giant Smasher Elite. Destroyer prioritizes contraptions, then heroes, then the rook. I mean to stuns, traps, and movement reduction. We also have elven assassins. They prioritize heroes, then contraptions, then the rook. They move through all units and blocked tiles. Well, as long as I kill one of them, seems like I'm pretty much fine. 
I wonder what order they move in. I wonder if that's noble or random, because it makes a difference here. The elite went first that time. Ooh, I didn't teleport and block the attack. Okay, so we know now. We know that that doesn't work more than once per battle, I guess. Or maybe once per game installation. That would be extreme. Rogue definitely can attack in melee still. Why does the warrior just slap things with shield? What's the sword for? <laughs> Just tuned in looks a little similar to Into the Breach. Yeah, I think more randomness than Into the Breach, which is perhaps a good thing. It implies more playability, maybe. Replayability. There was no damage. The rogue didn't take damage, really. Really. When adjacent enemy is destroyed, gain five temporary power, minus one move, plus eight armor. You can get that twice. I already have this once, yeah. At the end of turn, if the sorceress is next to the warrior, get four temporary armor, a stealth, untargetable by enemies. Heavy cloak seems like not what you want. Wait, so by the time I get through number five, how many of these am I going to have? This is only battle two and there are five battles. I'm going to have so many things. The warrior perk specifies damage must be to HP. How much? I mean, this has 16 out of 20 health, so it took HP damage. As far as I can tell. Don't know why else its HP is gone. What is a man but a miserable pile of perks? A beautiful question. What's all this then? We have a dwarven knee break. Why do dwarves have four movement? That's not very dwarf-like. Units attacked by the knee breaker cannot move on their next turn. And I mean to stuns and everything. Okay. But only attacks for seven. So if I just make that not alive anymore, not really a problem. Do I make that not alive anymore? Yeah. I need to read what this does. Oh. When she kills an enemy, the enemy deals... Okay, so that was the sorceress's perk, and this is coded as an enemy, which makes sense, I guess. What is the flag? The flag is that it's an elite, I guess? Is that or the knee-breaking perk, I suppose? So I can just farm experience here, I think. Go kill this. Wait, I can farm experience with my looting healing mushrooms too. Because they're coded as enemies. <laughs> Alright, 
good offense, plus two temporary power for every square they move. Gain five power when attacking an unarmed enemy when a mid-tier spell is cast. More move. I don't think I need more move. I'll go good offense. This seems pretty solid. Sorceress only says two to three because it specifically can't hit one range. A single number still means N or less range. That sounds believable. Yeah, that makes sense. I am ready. Does the temporary power also work when the warrior moves for taking a hit? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. What is this? An imbued champion gains power equal to charges. Charges one. I wonder if those charges like go up at some point. Is that being implied? I don't know. So this is going to get temp power such that it can just kill this. Sweet. Um, the other stuff going on is a little bit spookier. Although, like, not really. Let's put a barrel down. The barrel is just going to kill these on its own. Unless this is one of the ones that prioritizes my units. I think this is doing okay. Oh yeah. That one definitely didn't attack the barrel. <laughs> okay. This has a bunch of armor, which I cannot break right now. I brought you to shoot it, but I can't. Unless I like cast this. Armor is interesting in a game like this, isn't it? Over here, I think I'm just going to give plus four temporary armor. We'll just tank. Unless we won't, because I'm like, maybe this teleports somewhere else. No, didn't happen. Good. Oh, so the charges go up every turn, apparently. That seems important to know. Rando. Little indicator between attack HP is special modifier, like this one. I believe the answer is yes, although I'm not sure I could always tell you what that modifier is. I wonder if I can just double left click. Might be able to just double left click. Leg kick. Five power when attacking an armored enemy. If you didn't attack this turn, two temporary range. When a low tier spell is cast, two temporary armor and power. I think five power against armored enemies sounds really good. Enemies seem to tend to be armored or low HP. They're low HP, I don't really need more damage against them, and if they're armored, I do. I just noticed that this is up here. That's really useful. Boss wave incoming. 
Okay, I'm going to, I guess, stand over here. The boss isn't bringing any friends. Although, probably has a boat. Oh yeah, that's a boat. Oh, the boat is bringing friends. Oh. Okay. So what are these? Bombardment cannon. At the start of the round, takes aim in a straight line. Shoots all tiles in the line and dies after attacking. So this one doesn't matter, this one doesn't matter. What do you do? At the end of your turn, summon three random cannons and then teleport to another tile. It cannot be stunned. You don't attack. So I just have to keep these cannons under wraps. Do I have infinite experience here? I probably have infinite experience here. Seems sort of plausible. Counter example to no armor equals low health. Fair. True. Have you become the Queen's Lapdog Magister? Suppose I have. So the cannons didn't even shoot. Like they didn't have any targets, so they didn't even do anything, I guess. Does this ever stop doing this? What is number one? You think it's just that Rather is number one? Maybe. Believable. Seems like a likable guy. I wonder what happens if Rather tries to teleport on top of my units. Something definitely shot this. Whoa, Hunter Cannon. Destroyer Cannon. Oh, okay. So the cannons are not all the same. Number is probably enemy turn order. Oh. Oh. Outstanding thinking. Someday my brain will be as big as Twitch chat's brain. All right, GG. I'm not gonna try to infinite experience form there. Maybe I could, I don't know. Seemed sort of like I could. If you didn't attack this turn, gain six temporary armor. If you didn't move this turn, gain six temporary armor. When the sorceress destroys an enemy, they can make plus one extra attack. Yup. Doesn't look like attacking the cannon gave you any extra experience. Oh, it doesn't work on summons. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. He's a grabble and he's come to this, but savagery must not be tolerated. The Northern tribes will hopefully cease their advance and disband. Those men and women fought bravely. Yet desperately, I hope they can return home and think on peace. I will command my soldiers to escort the Northerners back to their home. You did well this day, Magister. It like all goes away and then comes back again. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, the Mushroom Glade. Let's level up. Mine is around 20 centers in diameter. Out of context quotes. <laughs> All right.
We have the five locations, five acts, five battles, it looks like. I don't know if I would even call them acts, because all you do is go to one battle and fight five waves. One temporary range after you move. Uh, so the next tier costs more experience. I guess I already knew that. Your attacks ignore armor. Oh, how can I not take that? Plus two power. Adjacent heroes gain two temp armor. I'll take some power for you. I can take a tier three. Yep. And a tier two of some sort. Uh, let's go one temporary range. Because that combos so strongly with superconductor. Tom, how are you? I have no idea how viable things are. This is my first time playing the game, and I'm playing on difficulty zero. Here's heal two health at the end of each wave. Brook gains an aura that gives allies in a four tile radius plus one temporary move at the end of your turn. Deal. What shall I upgrade next? Cannon tower? When this tower fires, heroes in range gain two temporary move. What? No. <laughs> but it, it's like range is the entire map. <laughs> it seems like a lot. Alright, I didn't read what there was to know about the mushroom fight. I have played 12 hours of the DLC Revolution. What is this? Why are the mushroom kin leaving their caverns and raising arms? Them mycelium spreads across all of these lands. They can sense its goings better than anyone else. Disgusting. Notice the way they respond to us. Have they truly turned hostile to civilization? Like pulling weeds, Magister. We must do what we can for the garden to thrive. These aren't weeds, Your Grace. In saying that, the glade cannot be left to threaten the people. If we sent the Queen home, how is she speaking to us? I don't know. Telepathy? Upon death, explodes for 5 damage to adjacent units. Attacks for 5 is 20 health. Wait. Oh, it also attacks another thing. Right. Of course. I'm a little bit worried that, like, experience farming with the sorceress is actually just an important game mechanic. But it feels like it might be. Ooh! I have blocked that damage thing. Shoot! Shoot! Over here. Yeah. 
shoot some more. Whoa. This look even rarer than rare somehow. When move over trap, attack this turn stuns. When the sorceress attacks an enemy, each cast chain lightning, applies all chain lightning effects, then jumps to the closest viable target that hasn't already been hit within a two tile radius and repeat. Her chain lightning now stuns. Wait. Wait. <laughs> that seems. Wow. Okay. Why is the source so much cooler than all the other characters? Probably because I've given her 10 perks. <laughs> That's probably why. Hold up, I just need to find the thing. Where does where's the thing? When you damage an enemy, gain plus one XP. So that seems like it works nicely with chain lightning. Alright. Alright. I have made myself very powerful. So, when I attack, things are going to happen. And not only are things going to happen, but my attack kills something so I get to attack again. Oh, so Chain Lightning doesn't deal damage again, though. It only stuns. Anyway, everything is stunned. Does that mean I can end turn? And then do this again. And those are stunned again? Wow. Okay, that might be a little bit strong. That is perhaps quite strong. No! <laughs> the power has, uh... That was upsetting. Alright, well... The next to a barricade gives the warrior plus one range. Ooh, these are yellow. Sorceress also attacks one other target in range whenever they attack. It does seem like there are some pretty strong builds for the other characters too, for what it's worth. I don't even know how strong this is honestly, we'll find out. Sorceress is on its way to becoming Gandalf, absolutely. Nice to, like, think about how the synergies interact as well. Some interesting stuff going on here. Unfortunately, wait, two to four range. I have two to four range. Why is my range so high? Because I destroyed an enemy last round, maybe? Also, I have to remember to move before I attack, probably. That is the largest mushroom I have ever seen. So if I have four range, why do I have to move here to attack that? 
Also, why does attacking that attack this too? Did I already tell it to attack that? Oh, because it's going to shoot at that after I attack it. Oh, this is so complicated. <laughs> Wait, why is it shooting at that? Am I killing it somehow? No? I'll be honest, I don't know what just happened. That one was a bit beyond me. These mushrooms are so fast. Oh. I know about Chain Lightning. Combat Log. Sorceress. Oh, Second Fire did go off. <laughs> this is my attack on the Eldest Ken. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 things happened when I, when I attacked with the sorceress. This is this is perhaps why I couldn't work out what was going on exactly. Okay, that seems that seems fair. It seems allowed. Do I have another attack or something? Ow! No. Wait, what is spoiling? Dies upon attacking. Oh. Okay. Let's read this one. That was a that was a less ridiculous attack, right? No. No, it wasn't. We have to scroll up. So I attacked the Eldest Ken. It lost 10 health. Searing experience was triggered. I destroyed it. Did I? Death Speaker spawned. And attacked the Young Ken, which lost 10 health. And was destroyed. Healing 5 to my Rogue. The Eldest Ken, Eldest Ken trick. I don't know what that is. Probably meant it blows up. Sun lightning triggered twice, second fire triggered. But there's nothing to shoot, so I don't think it did anything. I would say relatively straightforward. I would say relatively straightforward. Ooh, blue. I'm going to take the one for the sorceress. I'm going to continue not really understanding what's happening and assuming that when I click on enemies with her, they all die. All right, what is this? Great Father. Whenever an ally dies, it gets one move and two power. Increased move equal to charges. It is very movey. Although not currently. Also, it just gets stunned by Chain Lightning. Gotta like... <laughs> I picked this one, I think. Okay, straightforward and easy. Also, I get to shoot twice every turn. <laughs> um, okay.
So that entire side of the battlefield is stunned. Let's use the Rook to kill that. They're not only stunned this turn, but they will be stunned like for the rest of the combat. Because that's just a thing that this sorceress does. Why doesn't shooting you stun this? Why can this even be stunned? Why are why is your turn done? I didn't kill anything, but also attacks one other target in range whenever they attack. Am I not in range because the game doesn't think that my temporary range counts as range? Maybe the game doesn't like my temporary range. Hit both big mushrooms. I attacked Great Father and Eldest Ken. Alright, yeah, you're right. Wait, Eldest Ken? That one. Okay. And are they both stunned? I see that this one's stunned. But it looks like this one isn't. I don't understand if this is Chain Lightning, why didn't that get stunned? Let's read what Chain Lightning is again. Applies all chain lightning effects, then jumps to the closest viable target that hasn't already been hit within a two tile radius. I wonder if. Viable. T oh, my poor brain. I think this should have gotten stunned. It's an enjoyable puzzle, trying to work out why I'm wrong. My default assumption here is that I'm wrong, not the game. Who knows, maybe the game is wrong. Couldn't be me. It's the children who are wrong. So if I shoot this, that one gets stunned. But this one doesn't? This one did get stunned. It just didn't tell, bother to tell me again because it already was, I guess. Thief has escaped. Okay, so how long can I farm this for then? That's it's not quite infinite experience, but it's like sort of close. Wait, it moved, but it was stunned. <laughs> Hmm. 
Maybe they can resist stun. Gain stun immunity next turn. This entire time they've been getting stun immunity every other turn? Gosh, that is not a thing I knew. I'm not sure I believe that's even true. It has 24 attack, by the way. <laughs> oh, it's okay, it's okay, because this will teleport and prevent all of the damage, right? Right? Who else is incredibly confident that that is going to work? I know I am. Does seem to still be stunned. Hmm. Looks like maybe that's not working. Well, that was interesting. Stun immunity doesn't... His multiple charges of stun, so every round he has had stun immunity, he's still being stunned. Did Chain Lightning hit like seven times or something? I think Heal Spring seems pretty good. Your turn! Love it when it's my turn. Maybe I should place this tower. Seems like an okay thing to do. What is that? Great Mother. Is this the final wave? Not even. At the end of your turn, restore 5 health to all allies and summon 2 Sporlings in the closest possible tiles. Probably want to kill that soon. Oh, and this is the one that gets more attack. Also, I probably didn't want to start this next to the thing because it gains 2 power every time it moves. We'll call that one a slight mistake. Definitely going to call that one a slight mistake. All right, whoops. Doesn't Rogue have three range? Oh, it does have range, you're right. The solid uh, hypothetical question backseating. Love it. Excellent work there. movement does it have four so it can't actually get to anything one two three four it doesn't have range right so i could just run away from it although i can run away from it never mind no i can't
I've made it even stronger. <laughs> Got an attack from the sorcerer. Great. Why did that take 14 the second time? Was that my second attack? Oh my god. It doesn't animate. If an enemy survives the sorceress's attack, the sorceress gains plus three temporary power next round. Ro gains two power for each armed trap on the field. The warrior attacked an enemy last turn. They gain two temporary power and three temporary armor. The warrior or the enemy? Probably the warrior. Probably the warrior. Thoughts on just taking the one for the sorceress because it's for the sorceress? Alright, boss fight time. Clarity things of the 19 months. What if the sorceress one procs twice because she attacks twice? I don't know. That might be true. Rock seed. Immune to player damage. At the start of your next turn, spawn the fungal rook in the middle nine tiles and remove this unit. The fungal rook? What happens if I have pieces on all of the middle nine tiles, I wonder? So I can't do anything? I just get ready for the fungal rook to arrive? <gasps> I guess that's my answer. <laughs> the fungal rook. At the start of your turn, attack nine tiles in a square, alternating each round between adjacent and diagonal areas, and summon four sporlings randomly in the alternative Alternative areas, massive. Well then, I suppose it's immune to stuns as well. Do you think this works against bosses? Enemies that attack the rook are instantly destroyed. Does not work on elites or bosses. Okay, that seems sort of reasonable. <laughs> that does sort of seem reasonable. <laughs> Imagine being able to see what was happening. Yes. <laughs> it has like a low growl every time I attack it. Grow children. Yeah. I didn't get the second attack. Oh, they both went on Fungal Rook. Okay. I guess I did get the second attack then. Deep Sing. Deep Sing it down.
things are happening. Vaguely understand what they are. Seems just random what the other attack is. here. All my pieces moved. Looks like I probably kill next turn. Oh, Grimus thinks the five months. We were socializing a feral kitten last night. She sat in your lap and purred while watching YouTube dorbs. Aww. Oh, that's very cute. Yes. GG, yo! We were happy in the glade. Oh, are we the baddies? We might be the baddies. After you attack, if the enemy has less health than three times your armor, they are destroyed. What? That's strong. Chain lightning can now chain through your units and gives them four temporary armor. When the rogue kills an enemy, they explode, dealing six damage to all enemies in a two tile radius. I'm gonna go swallow cut. Are we the baddies? Magister, you cannot be so foolish as to support the golden queen in her conquest. How is she controlling you? Stop spouting nonsense. You speak of her conquest, yet what of yours? You are the ones who spread into occupied lands. Ah, then you were deceived, O oh, noble mage. We do not spread. You take from us our body. Our soil will be stained in gold. And the drums beneath us will be heavy. Gems. She has plenty of gems on her own. Why would... Why wouldn't she? No. The queen wants the gems to achieve anything she desires. A dangerous burning light. Oh, well, with her. Oh, well. My rook, my heroes, my power. Used to butcher. The queen would start our end. We ask you, with your power, stop her. That traitorous scum. She dares to insult me like this. My noble magic used for evil ends. I will make her pay. The queen shall fall. The spire was innocent the entire time. Oh no. Oh no. Number four, the desert. I have 160, okay. If there are no contraptions or heroes in a three tile radius, gain six temporary power, lone tower. Well, here we go. At the shop. I believe I was taking that one. It seemed really good. I don't really know what to do now. I'm gonna upgrade my barricades, because I can, I guess.
Start battle. Golden Army Commander. Disciplined in their devotion to the Queen, they are given the finest utilities of warfare. A true army. Overwhelming as an army, but a lone soldier can often be vulnerable. Alright. Magister. The apologies were getting tiresome. I'm glad to be free of the view. Oh, this is actually just my normal voice. Magister, the apologies are getting tiresome. I'm glad to be free of the ruse. You've outlived your usefulness to me. I will have your head for this. My heroes will gladly strike you down for disgracing their legacy. Please, with the gems, my forces are more powerful than you could possibly imagine. It wouldn't be the first time I have brought down a kingdom. They will see reason, or they will fall with you, your grace. What's the ultimate ability of the sorceress? When she attacks, she attacks everything within range. Which is unfortunately only three tiles. Let's see what this does. Something. I think. I read what this does. I should read what this does. Elusive Agile. Elusive Agile Stunned. Okay, they're all just the same thing. Oh, that's dead. Actually, it was just dead from the 20 power attack. But also it was dead because it had less health than three times our armor. Which I'm pretty sure is the perk that I took. Relatively confident. I should place my cannon tower because it gives all heroes in range a bunch of mobility every turn. Seems important. We didn't die. Bonus kill. Yellow. The rogue can move through enemy units, dealing the rogue power as damage to them. I think orange is more rare than yellow. If an enemy survives the sorceress's attack, temporary power next round. After you attack an enemy, gain temporary armor equal to the amount they lost. I think I meant to make the other units playable. Do you think I just like only make the sorceress do things? Let's make the other units playable too. I seek out the game because the hero wears a wizard hat. Sought it out because it's cool as all hell. Just a sweet take on tower defense stuff. Oh, don't I want this to be like away from everything else? Didn't I take lone tower or something? I think so. I vaguely remember that being the case. Oh well. I haven't really built perks which utilize my towers very well. Alright, so how much movement do you have? Three, so you're non-threatening. Oh, you can't get anywhere though. That's awkward. You only have three range this turn. that do something? <laughs> Maybe. There's no waypoint system for movement, so how do I move through things? Does that work? That's what I took, right? Rogue can move through enemy units, dealing the rogue power as damage to them. Oof! E-E-D dead. Please leave my tower alone now.
Also dead. Also dead. Not dead. Oh no. Let's play this so I have more movement. And I can move to here, which should be in range of both. Oh, baby. For some reason, you have all just died. And I have another attack. <laughs> cool. <laughs> reasonable. <laughs> just some reasonable things right there. Nothing personnel. <laughs> Oh, it's all personnel. So hold up. I have Lone Tower. If there are no contraptions or heroes in three tile radius. One, two, three. And I have... Four tile radius. So I want like that. Probably. Hit all enemies and stun them is a good block card. That definitely might be true. Oh, because this is still here, the wave isn't ending. That's funny. All right, we did it, yay. Achilles cut, enemies hit by the warrior have minus three move. Sneak attack, speed transfer. I already have one of those. I'll take Achilles Cut because it's rare. Is there... I don't think there's anything other than the color to explain how rare things are. I think that that orange is like mythic, but I don't actually know if that's true. Oh my god, those are all going to die. Every single one of them is dead. End turn. I guess we put this, like, here. This one tile closer to there. Wait, it's huge. Maybe they aren't all dead. What is this? A golden barrager. Prioritizes contraptions, then heroes, then the rook. And it is an elite, which means it's immune to stuns, and it attacks for 15? Oh no. Wait, I can't attack things in melee range. Oh, this is an entire catastrophe. This is actually the worst day of my entire life. Swallow cut. Welp, that's unfortunate. This is only wave two. I might be dumb. can't shoot that because I can't move. <laughs> Is there like a teleport button or something? That would be cool. That moves through all of them? I guess I could have done it in the other order, and then I would have actually killed this with my attack. Whoops, my bad. I wonder if putting that there distracts the ballista thing. It does. Sweet.
This has minus two health. Oh, it doesn't actually die until I confirm. Gotcha. <laughs> Who's the guy on the top left? That's us. We are playing on a game board. And yet the stakes are real. If I die in the game, I will be quite sad. This is not loyalty. And yet. What? This is only around three. What is this? Gold Elite Cannon. Is he gonna shoot my tower? Without footmen, just stats, just stats, just stats. Who are you? Golden Juggernaut. You're stunned? You walk onto a trap? Hmm. Uh, let's put the cannon in our mouth, I think. I have two to four range. This didn't get stunned because only the first attack makes chain lightning. I am starting to learn how this game works. Slowly getting there. I want to move as far as I can so that I have more power. Actually, I didn't want to move quite that far because it sets me up poorly for next turn, but whatever. Is starting to believe. What? There seem to be more of them. Just a thing I've noticed. So the enemy scaling seems like it sort of keeps up with your scaling in this game, which is interesting. Because your scaling is pretty ridiculous. He's attacked for 20 each? You get to Saras. How are you? How far do they move? Three. So this tower seems to be done. Neat. Oh, I can trap them. Starting to believe. Wait. Wait, the cannon moves? <laughs> Seems sort of messed up. How did this not get stunned? Reach. I believe this is only wave three.
Was it stunned last turn? I don't remember being stunned last turn. These do not have stun immunity anymore. Okay, let's try to work out how that took damage. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, it's within range. Is that because... Okay, I have an idea. No. Nope, I have no idea why that is. Both of these are stunned though, which seems good. The third perk is now she has two to five. If destroys an enemy, they gain plus four power and plus one range next round. Yeah, but at the start of the round, she only had two range. And then she moved and had two to five, and now she has two to three. So... I'm not sure how she had two to five range when I made this attack that caused her to hit that. She should have had three range as far as my knowledge of what her perks are and what they do. Explosions! Hey, they're all dead. The Mario heals for two each time they destroy an enemy. Eight power. Lose this effect when the rogue takes damage resets each battle. When a low tier spell is cast, gains two temporary armor and two temporary power. I'm gonna go overconfidence. Are there range buffs on the towers or something? I don't think so. I could have attacked again with the sorceress and forgot. Okay, let's prepare for wave four. Will we put the sorceress here? But I want her more than three away from everything that I have. And I want her away from the enemies. You put her here. And then leave the rook where it is. Yeah, I like that. You can rearm that if you end your turn there. One, two, three, four. You can go here. Okay, I placed all of my things already. Stunned, stunned, stunned. That seems like what I want to do. Check that again. Yeah, that seems good. What are you? Immortal Commander. The first time this unit's health reaches zero, it heals back to half of its max health. Hmm. Could be a problem. And it has range, it has two range, and three move. Oh, my sorceress is stealth because of being next to the rogue. That got hit for six twice. Because it is a mystery. <laughs> Some things are simply mysteries. Yeah. 
hit everything in range and have a second attack. Ah, uh, that would do it. I wonder what her range says it is right now. Two to three. Okay, that's what I expected to be. Go here and get a stun. Yeah. This time it didn't respawn every enemy that was in the previous wave. Um, which is interesting. I was wondering why it did that. And I still don't know. But it's interesting that this time it didn't, I guess. Maybe that's a wave three thing. Maybe it's just something, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it respawns, but it probably doesn't have stun immunity anymore. It does not. Wait, it does? Oh my God. Wait, which one is it going to hit, actually? I don't know. It's meant to target the nearest one. It did target the nearest one, okay. So now it shouldn't have stun immunity? It was just a delayed rollout of wave three. Seems plausible. Yeah. Okay. I am still alive. Prowess. Three temp armor when adjacent enemy is destroyed. Pulls on move minus six power. Two temp power for risk you move. Another one, yes. When I do, Papati. Probably somewhat soon. We five. Uh, I don't know, Sapphire. I'm going to guess no, but that could definitely be incorrect. I need more range on this. Also probably more power. Oh, well, maybe I can use the mushrooms to get more power. There's a lot of stuff going on in this game. Like a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. One, two, three, four. All the synergies and things to consider. Arrow shower reinforcements boss. Explain. First triggered once the boss reaches 175 health at the end of each enemy round calls down an arrow shower. Allies caught within her dealt damage equal to the power of the boss. Activates at 100 health at the start of each round summon in reinforcements. Okay, that's not... That seems manageable. It's hilarious to me that, like, the sorceress is just probably the worst of my three pieces <laughs> at this point. I don't understand why I didn't get another attack there. Yeah. 
where did her power go? Yeah. A little bit concerned that this was my fault. This is a final fight, yeah, so... I mean, I think my numbers just win from here. I am probably fine with the Rook killing this. When it attacks, it just instantly dies to the Rook. Oh, you hit my tower over my hero. Fascinating. How do I convince the rogue to move through you? I wonder what the logic is actually in which tiles it moves to, because it matters. It matters quite a lot. Wait, did I move through it there? Might have. Didn't realize I was uh, successfully doing that, but okay. So reinforcements are incoming. There are hails of arrows. Oh, nine. That's sort of cute that it's um alternating tiles in a checkerboard pattern. Or I guess a chessboard pattern. Fight over though? So wave three was the scary one. Hmm. Will this choose to deal damage? Nope. Oh, well, that probably doesn't work because they're summons. Golden Army Commander. I can see her so beautiful. Oh. That's an interesting angle. Sources can now move to any free tile on the board. Can no longer gain armor. When the rogue attacks an enemy, cannon towers attack it as well if it's in range. Remove all armor. The warrior can no longer gain armor. Plus three range, plus four power, <laughs> plus eight max health. What a bizarre... Thing to put on your warrior at this point in the game. That's fascinating. Um. Teleportation's pretty good. Let's take marked. Yeah, let's see if it. Makes the towers attack. An interesting question. Your army is broken. I will stain these sands red if you continue to force my hand. Surrender yourself and that will be the end of it. My dear Magister, you have just attacked the Sovereign Kingdom. What else should my soldiers do but to defend their ruler? Our business is already concluded, which makes this needless violence. Fall back. Do not play coy with me. You twist loyalty into obsession and their blood is woven into your lies. Come and face me now, Jezebel. Continue to flee, and I will come for you. Is the queen's name Jezebel? Or is that like a... Is Jezebel like a biblical reference or something? Volcanic Peak. I don't know this shit. Two power every wave until the end of battle. That seems really good. I didn't quite get blasting strikes. Increased damage radius by one. Oh. Uh, but I got everything else. It is a biblical reference. Gotcha. Uh...
This all seems fine. Stunned enemies lose all armor while stunned. I think that only works on freeze trap stuns though, probably. Or it's very, very strong and I should have taken it. <laughs> oh well. Um, Azaz, Lord of the Gems. Strengths, Master of All, Weaknesses, None. Wait, the Queen is Azaz? Wait. This is some Belial shit. I told you I was coming. Nothing will protect you from me. I am giving you one last chance to you. Disgusting creature. What have you done with her? Ha! You were careless, dear conjurer. You presume to have destroyed my body, warding off my return by another century. But you have always underestimated my cunning. The queen's ambition was boundless, and in it I secured a means of permanence. No doubt she sought from me what I have gained from her. Powerful ascension. Here, my genius magister, the queen needed a pawn to... Pay. The queen needed a pawn. The queen needed a pawn to pave the way to an unopposed rule. She needed you. My fake invasion was too good of an offer for her to resist, and you happened to be the magister for hire, a scheme to fool even the great lord of the rook. Oh, those, those dots were very slow. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that minimal effort. Speak, what say you now? I am Azaz, Lord of... Are you done, Azaz? Because I am. I have had a long campaign, more than I ever bargained for. I will ensure you never return to this realm, Azaz. This time, I will watch carefully as you crumble to nothing. Oomph, you will regret taking me so lightly in your arrogance. I am renewed. Let us see how you fare against my new power. What are these? They are spear demons. They are just numbers. What's the infused wolf? Prioritizes the rook. He did not take teleport. Unlucky. Wait, does this just like kill everything? Gosh, imagine choosing the ones that weren't the rogue to level up. Embarrassing. Nope, that's too close. Oh, there isn't anywhere right in the middle for the cannon tower this time. I'll put it here, I guess. Oh! I guess I've used that thing for the entire fight. But it wasn't even dealing damage! <laughs> hmm. Not sure I'm very impressed by that ability. Invigorated, plus four max health. If you're at full health at the start of your turn, gain two temp power and two temp armor. When the rogue moves over a trap, their attack this turn stuns. Once per battle, if an allied hero is killed, the sorceress gains five power, one damage radius, and two range. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Mixed links for 14 months. Glad you're enjoying it. I think I'm going to take a spike smash to get stuns on my rogue's attacks. Seems like it doesn't do anything, because the rogue kills everything and the boss is immune to stun. Oh well, should have thought of that earlier. Your turn. Love it when it's my turn. I 
Imagine for a second if the rogue just started here and then walked to there. Unfortunately, it's out of range of the rook, though, so it doesn't get his movement buff. But if it goes here, that will work. What are these? Oh, they're all dead. They're puppers. What if I don't want to fight against puppers? Those are all stunned. Feels like so far this is significantly easier than the last fight. Am I petting the dogs via fireball? Chain lightning, actually, but yes. I suppose I am. Oop! The rogue currently has 38 attack. Whenever the sorceress attacks an enemy, cast chain lightning, your chain lightning now deals 6 damage to enemies. Let's do it. So chain lightning is best over here next turn. Rogue can go... I don't know. Rogue is also best. Okay, Rogue can go here. Nope. Needs to be within range of the Rook. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he just goes here. Warrior goes over this way. Oh, my tower has ruined my chain lightning. How dare. We have a gem cannon elite. We have two gem cannon elites. This one's missing though. It's like neither of those got stunned. I think this one can't get stunned. That would be why. I would like to undo every decision that I have ever made. <laughs> Merchanting thanks for the three months, and Thatch Roofed Cottage thanks for the eight months. Appreciate you both. I did very funny that the cannons just like walk around on their own. I suppose I like don't find it remarkable at all when the rook does that. For some reason, though, it's just funny when the cannon does. I don't know why. I wonder if I can taunt that. Eh, not worth trying. What I should have done, presumably, is put a trap down for it. That would have been the sensible thing to do. If the warrior attacked an enemy last turn, temporary power and armor. When kills an enemy, they gain stealth until the start of your next turn. When attacks an enemy, cast chain lightning. Your chain lightning now deals half their power. Rounded down. Chain lightning intensified. Okay. Chain lightning. Oh, they're all spread out. <laughs> what? That's not okay. Are they ice bees? I think they're ice bees. 
Flying Demons Perchers. Okay, so these turn into turrets if I let them. Wait, what? No, 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 I wanted to attack too. Whoops. I would have three range from here. But that's four away. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. A barrel down here. Ow. Ow. Wait, you hit my rogue? I thought it was stealthed. Oh, it was not stealthed. I don't know why I thought it was stealthed. Definitely not the case. I guess I can't move through something that is perched on an obstacle. Chain Lightning being able to chain to friends does seem like it would have been nice, yeah. I wasn't expecting Chain Lightning to be such a big thing. Elite Slayer, when the boss rogue attacks an elite or boss, they deal an additional 10 damage and gain 5 temp armor. Yup. Boss fight's coming up, right? Is it time to chain some lightnings? Very well, maybe. What happens if you stand on the tile with the enemy coming, I wonder? I guess we'll never know. Game looks cool. Yeah, it does look cool. These are already stunned. They are gem demons. That has one health left. Remember when I thought the sorceress was good? That was embarrassing. Gosh, that was embarrassing. Yeah, I move here, actually. Okay, shall we read that? <laughs> it almost goes off the top of where the log goes back to. Sorceress attacks Gem Demon. Gem Demon loses 4 health. Searing Experience, Spell Shield. Stun Lightning. Stun Lightning. Superconductor. They lose a bunch of health and armor. Unlimited Power. Triggered 3 times. Death Speaker triggered. Shadow Spawned. Unlimited Power triggered twice. All right, I don't really know what the consequence of any of that is. Oh, I can attack again. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who is that? These are now stunned three times and twice. Oh. 
Remember when we thought the sorceress was bad? I'm still non-committal on this. Uh, interesting that that one didn't spawn a shadow. I guess because the shadow killed, not the sorceress. Gotcha. Oh, I can attack again. Okay. Uh, boss wave. This is the last one. Small heal. Restore five health. Go battle focus. Oh, I can use the... Oh, I can use those for chain lightning. How did I only just work that out? Boss wave incoming. It's just not spawning anywhere though. Nice. Already won. That's not concerning at all. Oh, there it is. Okay. I will put a trap underneath it, which will presumably not really do anything. It'll deal three damage. It's not nothing. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hello. It is Azaz, the Lord of Gems. Slams units close to him. If no units are nearby, breathes fire on faraway enemies, disappears after losing 100 health, and summons reinforcements. We got ourselves a multi phase fight. Let's see how this goes. We should work out how to move, like, through the enemy this way. That would be pretty sweet. Oh, we just did that. <laughs> it has 200 health left. Can I shoot it now? Why doesn't it let me shoot it? I don't understand. Sometimes it just, like, doesn't let me attack. Oh, because you're stealthed. That's why. So you're going to disappear and summon reinforcements? Okay. Heal. Did I just skip a health gate? Well, I don't know where the health gates are. Wait, you're still here. Disappears after losing 100 health and summons reinforcements. Is there a way for you to move the other way around that block? Let's move through allies. I wonder if there actually is a way. Unfortunate that the sorceress is not very good. Miniature K. Can you attack again now? Nice. You attack again now? No. <laughs> underpowered, to be honest. <laughs> Very underpowered. Hmm, if it's stealth, surely I can move through it. Oh, hello? Wait, chain lightning. Also the other thing, the one that attacks everything in range. They're just all dead. Huh. 
So I have found a use for the sorcerers. Good stuff. Oh, maybe I should have read what it was doing. It's fine though, I guess. Oh, I gave it stealth again. I don't think the rogue is allowed to move through this. So I have a suspicion. Hello. That if I tell this to move this way... Wait, the obstacle is gone. Oh, that's very upsetting. On the bright side... I win. Not again! Victory. No, why is this happening? I... But I outwitted you, how? Regardless, as you will no longer nuisance this realm. No, with this power I can accomplish what even you cannot. It will be different this time. I will be with you again soon, Magister. Aftermath. Your would-be rival erupts into a blinding light and disappears from the board before you. You exhale heavily. And take the time to consider his final words. I don't remember what they were. Likely a desperate threat. The warning means little from a demon who will not materialize again for a very, very long time. Uh-huh. Okay. Before you can turn your thoughts to the lives that were lost, you experience sudden head pain. Foreboding. You realize that your fight may not be over just yet before you turn in, resolving to rectify the realm once you wake to a new dawn. You feel that something has changed within the realm. Upgrade heroes. I have six gems. Meta progression. Unlock a common upgrade for the warrior, rogue, and sorcerer. Unlock the hero's banner and alternate to the barricade. Unlock two additional spell packs to choose from at the start of your run. Well, that sounds fun. The loot career will now appear in battles. Unlock a common... Rare and epic upgrade for the warrior. Unlock the samurai. Yep, this certainly is meta progression. How do we all feel about meta progression? I feel very, like, unengaged by it. Personally. Anyway. You're down. It's fine. You want to skip it all? I think that the thing that Slay the Spire does where it has meta progression, but also there's a text file you can edit if you look at all that skips it all, is an excellent way to handle it. Because it presents the meta progression as like an engaging game mechanic for people who like it, and for everyone who doesn't, they can like skip it without upsetting the people who do like it or something. Hades is fun meta progression. Fair. Yeah, you can definitely handle it different ways. The amount of health or sword after a battle has been reduced to 20% and unlocks three towers. Hmm. The queen's name is actually Jezebel. Alright. Well, that was pretty sweet. For a first look at a game like this, the interface was quite good. The general feel of playing the game was quite good. The run was a little bit long maybe, but I was having to read all of the rules, so. The scaling felt exponential, I wanna say. like. 
In battle number four, wave three, I was like, whoa, <laughs> I feel like my units are scaling fast, but their units are actually scaling faster. But that was just like one specific wave in the entire game where it felt like that and everywhere else it felt like my units were scaling faster than theirs. What are the ascension modifiers? Waves will begin three turns after the previous one if you haven't cleared the board in time. Enemies have a chance to become augmented, providing different bonuses. Bosses have additional attacks or change. Yeah, the bosses felt like they had dealt very little damage. So that's a good thing. Enemy units have more stats. Magister Hunter and his pack will show up once randomly during your run. Okay. Shop and level up upgrades have had their costs increased. Demons will now spawn at the start of boss waves. Health is not restored after each battle at all. Ooh. That would definitely make the perks that increase health during battle stronger. Yeah, that seems like it would make it harder, probably. It's hard to tell with some of these things, like how much are their stats increased, I don't know. Seems pretty solid.